Let's look at how a high-quality clock source affects the signal at the DDS output. We'll consider the example of the ultra-low noise oscillator RCLN1002 DDSs based on AD9912 and AD9910. It is powered via a 5.5 mm jack from a 7.5 volt power supply with a current of at least 1 ampere. The device's output is connected via this type of SMA connector. The device's case is made of milled aluminum. At the heart of this oscillator is a VCXO running at 200 MHz, stabilized using a synthesizer and TCXO. The VCXO's output goes to a frequency multiplier of 5. The signal is then filtered by a helical bandpass filter. After the filter the signal is amplified, and then it is filtered again by a helical bandpass filter. Only after this does it go to the device's output. Now let's turn it on and see what the signal looks like at the oscillator's output. Magnificent! And let's return to the DDS. Let's start with the DDS9912. First, let's see what the signal looks like when the AD9912 is clocked from the TCXO pre-installed on the DDS9912 board with a frequency of 40 MHz. As can be seen in the spectrum, there are a large number of spurs present. Now let's connect the low noise reference oscillator RCLN1000, but to do this, we first need to remove capacitor C20. After that, select the external clock source in the DDS9912 menu. It's noticeable that the spectrum has become much cleaner, and it only contains multiples of the carrier harmonics. Let's compare the screenshots again. In addition to significant spectrum improvement, phase noise is also reduced. Expected and calculated values match the charts from the datasheet, so with 99 MHz output from DDS9912 and one offset from the carrier by 10 kHz, the level of phase noise decreased by about 15 dBc per hertz. And now let's compare the operation of DDS9910 clocked by the TCXO and the RCLN1000. When clocked by the TCXO, a significant number of spurs can be clearly seen. To connect an external source, the capacitor C20 will also need to be removed. and the clock source settings in the DDS9910 menu need to be changed. It's clear that the spectrum has become much cleaner. Let's compare the screenshots again. Phase noise has also decreased. Let's look at the charts from the datasheet. Thanks for watching.